Aspen couple is heartbroken and demanding answers after hundreds of trees along their street were chopped down. After running into roadblocks, they turned to News 4's Natalie Clydesdale, who was looking out for them tonight. Avery and Corbin Rhodes say they used to love driving down their quaint Edmond Street, South Air Depot between 15th and 33rd after a long day. It was like our therapy. It's a bit of a rolling hill and you see these gorgeous trees on either side. But their hearts sank last week when they saw the aftermath of a crew cutting trees away from power lines. You know, it's just nauseous. It's just, uh, it's just so sad. I think there's hundreds. You can just see they just cut them down to the stump. The roads say they understand it's necessary to keep the trees away from power lines. But cutting the trees down to the stump, that's going to cause a whole host of problems. Problems they fear could be detrimental to their neighborhood. So living close to Lake Arcadia, there's bald eagles, a lot of deer, a lot of wildlife out here, and they're suffering the consequences of that. You know, we're going to have a lot of runoff, a lot of erosion. They add they've struggled to get answers and say time is of the essence since crews are still out even Monday afternoon cutting trees down. I tried contacting OG&E to just say, hey, can I ask some questions about this? They, I had to leave a message and the gentleman said it may take up to three weeks for somebody to get back with you. Well, obviously in three weeks, the damage is already done. In Edmond, Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. OG&E sent us a statement that says in part, tree work is part of routine inspection and maintenance. Limbs and bushes are cleared 10 feet around each pole. Removals can also occur when trees are located directly beneath wires or close to poles. You can find the entire statement online at KFOR.com.